Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, Silverfish. How are you doing? Gigi's on the first. I hope you're amazing today. Um, hello, Fulmers. How are you? Hi, hi. Sea Turtle. Hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's amazing. Hello, 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 hello. Um, so we're going to work on Daddy Bones Redeem again today. Hi, Silverfish. How are you? Um, guys, how's my mic sounding, by the way? I've moved my microphone, um, so it should be like a little bit closer to my actual face. So hopefully you're going to get a little bit less keyboard clicking uh, and more just like good sound. Um, I can definitely turn it down if I'm peeking a little bit. It does look like I'm getting into the yellow sometimes, but like not horribly. Uh, so let me know if I need to change it or anything like that. Oh wait, I need stuff. I was about to leave my storage room and I don't even have all the things I need. I need a couple of shulker boxes because I need more dirt. Sounds a bit clearer, not that I dislike the keyboard noises. Okay, good to know. Where did all my... Am I like out of shulkers? Wow, I've used a lot of shulkers. Um, oh, bye Tadpole. Bye Tad. I miss you. <laughs> Tad's like, uh... He gone, he gone. Well, that's good, Silverfish, that's good. I, yeah, I'm gonna get a boom mic, uh, a boom arm. Strider. Fulmers is a strider? Fulmers is a strider, yeah. Fulmers' skin is a strider girl. Yeah, so Fulmers is very much a strider. But um, one of our players, Hobbits, said I could take some dirt and grass from his storage room. So we're gonna go there. Fun, right? Yes, Fulmer's skin is super cute. Uh, it's very adorable. Okay, so we need to go this way. But yeah, we're back working on the terraforming project for Daddy Bones. Um, I haven't made a ton of progress on it offline. I just haven't had time to work on it. I've been focusing on the super flat world, um, which there is a new super flat episode out actually. Fulmers has almost two shulkers of grass. That's something. One minute. Okay, that's a, a muted tab. Wait, I wanna get shareable link. Yep. What is happening? I don't I don't see what's happening. Mr. Chase, hello, welcome in. Oh my goodness. Hi hi! Hello, Raiders, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Let's give a shout out. I can't type. Is that how you spell shout? I hope so. What was that noise? What was that noise? I don't know. <laughs> Food time. All right, Mr. Chase. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. I hope your stream is amazing. Somebody who uh, came in with Mr. Chase's raid, can you tell me what he was up to today? Raging Panda, hello. Thank you for that first time chat. How you doing? <gasps> Sally! Sally, thank you so much for doing that shout out. Sally, how are you doing today? Oh my goodness. <gasps> BCG, hello. Been a bit. How are you doing, Lil Bean? I am great. BCG, how are you? Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for welcoming in the Raiders. But Mr. Chase, thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. End game. Sorry, I'm really excited. They, uh, Pretzel Rock switched up its music again, which means my likes, uh, tracks is back to being different and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Chillin' been tired and busy. Oh no. Well, I hope things are okay. I, like, how are things with work in that? Have you found something that you're happy with? Like, it sounds kind of like things are not particularly vibin', but... I hope, I hope it's a- Oh my god, Todd <laughs> Oh, welcome in. Oh my gosh, that's two raids. That's really funny. <gasps> Thank you. Hi, Grey Knight. Hi, hi. Stardust, Ginger, Little Potato, Black Cloud Wanderer, Tadpole themselves. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Marcus. Hi, hi, hi. Tadpole, how was the rest of your stream? I'm sorry I couldn't be there. My mom was visiting and she, I literally, we just had dinner and I finished my pizza and I was like, mom, I love you, but I have to, I have to go stream now and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely struggling to be honest but it's something i can't get denied by everyone oh i'm sorry bcg if you want to chat like i'm always around you know that right 
Tad, thank you so much for the tier three sub for 14 months, you absolute maniac. I am an Enderman now. Guys, have you seen the clip of me turning Tadpole into an Enderman? Have you seen it? If you haven't seen it, it's like actually so important that we all watch the clip. Where's the Milky Clips channel? Here's a clip of Tadpole becoming an Enderman. It's actually the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and I did it. Not even going to read Grey Knight's message. Wow, Black Cloud, I'm not reading all of that. <gasps> Cat Queens wants to see the clip. Let's, can I actually like share the clip? Is that a thing that I can do? GG! One sec, can I share this clip? One sec, can I full screen this clip? Unmute the tab, full screen the tab. And then can I share a display? No, application capture, media source, window capture? Okay. Yeah, that he's an Enderman now. Okay. Can you guys see this? I hope you can see this. So this is Tad, Tad, wait, before I show this clip, Vampire Maid, hello, Winter's Heart, hi, hi. Um, Tad, are you okay with me showing this clip of you? Is that okay? I will not do it if you don't want me to. Layok, hello, is that how you pronounce it? Please yell at me if I said it wrong, but welcome in. Yes, okay. Um, is important. GG's, useless rogue, thank you so much for the GG's. How are you doing today? Sally is 58% chaos. Waffle Dog, hello, 57% chaos, amazing. Fine with me. Okay. It, seriously though, if you want me to say it differently, please just let me know and I will pronounce it correctly. I, I feel very bad when that happens. But okay. So we're going to show this clip. It is honestly the best clip. Um, hey. Yes. You take your hat off. Okay. No! <laughs> Tadpole's an Enderman now. At Blackout, I'm great. <laughs> hey, yes. And it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I I can't believe he let me do it. Like I just expected him as soon as like, can you take your hat off? I expected him to be like. No, and run away, but he just stood there and let me put it on his head. He's still wearing it. It's been days. I've had some social guilt from not talking to anybody for this whole time, but DM me whenever I'm just having a bad social life. I will DM you, BCG. I will... Be careful. I will hold you to that. Black Cloud, I'm doing good. I am exhausted and it was such a long week and um, work sucks, but you know what? I'm doing great. It's so nice to be streaming and hanging out. I trusted you. You should never, why would you ever trust me? Me walking up to you saying, can you take off your hat and then putting a dispenser down should be an indication that I'm up to crimes. Yeah, Sally, crime. <laughs> Tadpole just stood and waited next to this. I know, Silverfish, I expected him to be like, no, and like run away. And instead he just stood there while I committed a felony. <laughs> yeah, first mistake is trusting me. Trusting a cat was your first mistake. It really was. It really was. Straight to jail. Always crimes. Cat crimes. Hi, Ginger. How are you? It, yeah, it's always crimes with us, honestly. It's always crimes. Um, okay, we need to go to Hobbit Space while you commit the felony. <laughs> yeah, felony putting hats on Tadpole. <laughs> well, curse of binding hats on Tadpole. I mean, he can take it off. If he lets me shoot him with uh, cat boys, then it'll come off. Like, he just has to let me do it. I am gathering concrete right now in Minecraft. Ooh, such a tedious task. You're good, thanks. I'm glad, Ginger. It's nice to see you. Well, now I am a tadpole that's allergic to water. Oh, you know, that's tragic, really. How do you heck? How do you get into Hobbits' base? Like, where... Where is the entrance to this? How is... It's underground. I, like, it's here. It's under this. Yeah, Fulmers has a sword if you need help, Tab. How do you- Oh, is it this? Oh my god. This is un- This is absolutely unsafe. What is this nonsense? This is a violation of all- All OSHA laws. How do you get in here? A feline -y? Oh my gosh, Marcus. 
You're not wrong, but scram. Is this how you get in here? Death by cat boys, GG. Yeah, I thought it would be funny. I renamed my bow because I was like, I had this hot guy, like H-A-W-T, like Scar's bow. And I was like, it would be funnier if this said cat boys, honestly. Where is the entrance to this? Hobbits! What in the world? This feels like a cave? It's not. I swear this is literally my partner's Minecraft base. And I am truly flabbergasted right now. Like, there's a way in here. I've seen him do it. <laughs> like, I just don't know where. Every Minecraft base this man has ever had is actually just a cave that he lived- Oh, see? I knew it! I knew it! Okay, but where's Aniva's stuff? Oh. Ah! Yes! Okay. Okay, that was really loud. I'm sorry. Death by Catboys. You've never figured this out? Hmm. Hmm. I named my sword Corpse, so if we team up, we'd be Catboys or ruining my life. If you give it your legend. <laughs> I actually don't know this reference, but I want to know. Okay. So I was told that I could have two shulkers of, of Brace. Chad, look, I still have my Enderman head. No. Oh my god, that's so loud. Little Potato, thank you so much for the Warden Roar. Unbelievably loud. Is allergic to references? Corpse did a song called Cat Girls Are Ruining My Life. I'm gonna listen to this now. That sounds hilarious. Okay, and then taking a little 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 extra grass as a treat. Cats can have a little grass as a treat, right? Cats can have a little grass as a treat. Oh my goodness, there's so many messages. You still have mine as well? Yeah, I wonder why. Release the scrum! Scrum, 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 scrum. Everybody scrum in the chat. Scrum, 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 scrum. I want to see you scrumming. Guys, please. You have to scrum. It's so important. The scrums have been released. Scrum, scrum, scrum. What sort of grass? The normal kind. Scrum. Cat grass is a thing? Yeah. I have some for my cats in our house. Oh, I don't have an ender chest. Scrum, 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 scrum. Scram, 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 scram. I'm too broke for normal scram, so the verbal scram will have to do. That's why verbal scram exists, to be fair. Oh, that's the entrance. Okay, well we have to go find an ender trust. You should always have no less than 30 ender chests. Don't start with me, Tadpole. I will not- I refuse to have the number of ender chests. I missed the Scramphony. The problem is, Blackclad, is that even though that song is like in the public domain, it was coming up as flagged, so I was getting like copyright warnings from it. So I have to find a recording of it that is in fact public domain and then put the music back on it. Here, I have 51 ender chests plus extra 10. That's plenty of ender chests. Can't even be mad. That's so many ender chests. Everybody hit the floor. Hey, look, the tar pits. The tar pits. I need to work on this too. Okay, let's let's uh, go pay for this stuff that we're taking. You just miss it, fair. Anyone got a spare tar pun? Oh, this is gonna be terrible, isn't it? You could find a composer who'd be willing to do it for you. That's a good point. What tar are you talking about? Um, the Scremphony recording? Was this how you- How do you get in here? How have I lost it already? Was it- It's over here somewhere. Like, I swear it was over here. Oh my god. What tar are you talking about? How do you get into this place? Like, why is it- Why is the entrance- Oh! Fuck. Who did that? Who did it? It worked really well and I'm mad at you. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Who did it? You're a rogue. Nice one. <laughs> Shit. It scared me so bad. Oh my god. Where is the entrance to this? Why? That scared me. Wolf dog, it scared me too. Sea turtle. Oh my god, how do you get in here? Where is it, please? I'm going to commit an arson. Why? Why can't my partner just have normal entrances to a base? Like, why does it have to be a secret code? Like, why does it have to be hidden? I don't understand. No one's stealing your stuff but me. Isn't a spare tar what they carry in the trunk down south? <laughs> what in tarnation made that noise? It was a me. Uh, commit tarson. Stop the end tarns. Oh my god, guys. No. Silverfish, I'm holding you personally responsible for starting the tar puns again. I just want you to know that I am holding you responsible for this. <laughs> what, Waffle Dog? Help? Scourge? <laughs> You know, this is- that's plenty of diamonds. Honestly, he can't even complain. That's plenty of diamonds. I- I think that's totally fine. That's so many diamonds, honestly. Like, not even a reasonable number. Waffle Dog, I'm scared. Hello, sir? Sir? Why is my music not working? Hello? Yes, they are tarable. Oh my god. Ah! No! Child! Be gone! That was an excellent first time chat, by the way. Vlad Manry, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're good. But small, surely you can't expect me to see the tar pit biome without immediately thinking of puns. <sighs> no, I, I can't, I can't blame you. But like at the same time, I'm holding you responsible for your actions. How's that? I can, I can hold you responsible, but also not be mad at you. How's that? Why is my music not playing? Honestly. Game? Game? Okay. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a dad. Fair? And Tarly just- Tally! Blaming Silverfish is both crime and a terrible idea. That's true. Silverfish has never done a bad thing ever. Vlad, Vlad, why? Also, hi Vlad, how are? Responsible. Not I. Almost flew into a hill because of music being tar- Ah! Okay. I'm not gonna fly into a hill. That would be bad. I don't want to die. I actually want to place blocks this stream and accomplish task. If we can place blocks this stream and accomplish task, I will feel amazing. But honestly, my confidence about placing block and accomplishing task is very low at this moment. My internet went down for the last few minutes. I felt so cut off. No, Ginger, no. I'm glad you're back. You missed a lot of scrumming. Honestly. Pops on just to chase down small and bully her. BCG, you won't. You won't. Do it. Do it. Do it. You won't. You won't. You won't get on the server. You won't come play Minecraft. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sus Ginger's internet. Ginger's internet does sound suspicious, to be completely fair. Small would survive. Isn't that a cod of undying in the offhand? Oh, yes. That is a cod of undying. It's a tasty, tasty cat snack. I should start naming all of my food, like, cat snacks or something, or, like, what's a cat treat brand name, guys? Like, what's a brand name of cat treats? Question mark. Like, what's a... Like, meow mix? Lickables? Whiskas? Churus? Um, what are, um... Temptations? Yeah. Here. So, we'll just... Start naming the, the snacks different cat treat names. It'll be really fun. <laughs> Friskies. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep all of that in mind for when we need to name other other tasty snacks. Mice. True. Mice are tasty. My net will sometimes go bloop lately. That's the worst, Inari. Also, hi, Inari. How are you? Always lots of scrum in the stream. We do be scrumming. No, BCG, that was me trying to bully you into coming and playing Minecraft. I don't think you understand. I got small, so good. She almost dropped an F-bomb. That's true. That did happen. I started to say the F-word and I stopped because I decided to be a good noodle. But I probably should have just said the F-word. Dreamies and Temptations are the same brand. Maybe. Are they? Burbs. Scrum snacks? Noms. Burbs. Uh, <laughs> count. Viscountex of Chaos. Grip 
Inari grips their frozen spear tuna and slashes their foe, dealing five points of damage. I'm trying to seduce. <laughs> I love the Meow Mix theme song. What is the Meow Mix theme song, guys? Also, am I going to get DMCA striked for singing the Meow Mix theme song? Is Meow Mix like the cat snack version of Disney? Question mark. Everyone's casting an unrelenting scrim. Tad is feeling 56% chaos. Rogue is 84% chaos. Silverfish is doing a heckin' big plep. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, yeah, it's meow, 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 Meow mix, meow mix, meow mix. I honestly, I hadn't like thought about that commercial in a very long time. <laughs> I think we defeated the foe. Um. Yeah. Okay. Silverfish charged their remaining magical energy and defeated the monster harem. So that's why it's not working. Uh, it's not working because the monster is dead. Gigi's chat. There's no need to attack anymore, yeah. We don't have to do the murders anymore. We're actually just um, rolling die for fun. Sally got the kill? Was it Sally? I thought it was Silverfish. Oh, it says Silverfish Stone. Yeah, you know, it, it credited the kill to Silverfish. But Sally and Silverfish both cast Unrelenting Scram at the same time, so I feel like maybe we can say it was both of them. We can say both, yeah. Right? I don't know. I'm just heckin' scrumming. Hey, welcome in. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Blep, 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 blep. You love to see so many bleps in the chat, honestly. You love to see it. It was a joint effort. Yeah, Gigi's team. Aw, oh, did you just clip the Meow Mix song? Honestly, Tadpole. That's actually really funny. <laughs> of course he clipped the meow mix. I will share the victory with the spleener wielder. <laughs> Fair. It, it was bees and a spleener. That's what did it. New sound idea? The meow mix song? Wait, we can watch the meow mix clip. Uh, in this message. Uh, manually unpin. One sec. That's gonna open a tab, we're gonna mute the tab, we're gonna pause the tab, we're gonna unmute the tab, we're gonna open the tab, we're gonna open the thing, we're gonna watch the clip because I think it'll be funny. Uh, window capture, okay. Window capture of the Meow Mix clip. Is that the window of the Meow Mix clip? Yes, yes. Like, okay, so now we're looking at the Meow Mix clip. Like, play. Meow, 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 meow. Meow mix, meow mix, I love meow mix. Meow 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 mix, meow mix, I love meow mix. Okay, yeah, that's actually really funny. Um, okay. That yeah, that um I should definitely clip that sound and make that a redeem. Um meow meow meow. Glad Manor has only gone and found Green whilst exploring a Sky Island house. Nice, nice. That checks out. I don't have a bed. Can I put him back? Um, I think you can just slowly walk away and that'll return the green. How come there's not a biome redeem anymore? Uh, BCG, it's closed right now until I'm done with this one. Cause this is what we're doing right now. Daddy Bones redeemed the biome redeem. So we're working on Daddy Bones, uh, custom oasis biome. And then once that is finished, which I don't know when that's going to be, then we will put the biome redeem back up because I want to get the- do you want more grass? Honestly, yes, please. Um, <laughs> imagine raiding in and hearing that. Actually, very funny. Um, actually would be really, really funny. Blackclad, can you send me a Discord DM and remind me to edit that clip? Um, because I will forget. Strawberry Pop-Tart, hello, welcome in, how are you? Probably because Small's going to be busy with this one for a while. Yeah, that's that's basically why. Chokes on potato and coughs are long out. Ginger, no! Ginger, no! Don't die! <laughs> oh my goodness, Ginger, no! Glad made me. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Meow mix, meow mix. Oh, see, now it's in my head! Ugh. 
Small needs to touch grass, ironically. Uh. Hope the lung isn't- yeah, Ginger, please stay safe. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Choose life, Ginger, choose life. Getting all this virtual grass. Hey, I touched real grass today. I went outside. The dragon bane potatoes are nasty. Mm. <laughs> Strong enough to kill a dragon. Uh, I don't know how to answer Fulmer's question either. Black Cloud, enjoy your lurk. I have a Discord notification. I bet that's black clad, so I'm gonna not look at it, because if I look at it now, I will forget about it later. Because the notification won't be there. Give them to Grian, yeah. I personally prefer my potatoes disappointingly undercooked, just like my chicken. No, BCG, that's a crime. That's an actual food crime. You're gonna get E. coli. Hi, this is a PSA. Don't eat undercooked chicken. You could die. I always cook chicken. Cook chicken. Choose not getting food poisoning. Thank you. Is this all going to be covered in sand? Yes. So, um, Silverfish, basically what we're doing right now is we're going to cover all of this in grass. Basically just to remove the water because the sand is a gravity block. No, BC oh my god, BCG, that's unbelievably cursed. Like, un please don't eat me, I'm not a tasty potato. Yeah, don't eat little potato, leave them alone. Um, or salmonella, yeah. Don't die, please. Eat chicken sushi. No! No! I feel like the screm version of the cat right now is honestly so apt for the conversations that have been occurring in chat. Like, it's been so cursed today. Literally unbelievably cursed. But what was I saying before the cursed chicken commentary? Um, oh, so it's Tuesday. It is. That explains it. Um, uh, who knew it would be a cursed Tuesday? Okay, it's feeling 4% chaotic. Nice. Ah! Why? Useless road. Thank you for the creeper of the 20 bits. I'm not cursed. I'm just spewing facts. I, I think you're actually just giving bad food advice. Wants chaos, pouts. <laughs> Chicken, sushi, and fish milk. Oh my- Sally. It's Wednesday? It's Tuesday, Fulmers. Okay, you know what? No, it may be Wednesday in Denmark, but it's Tuesday in the eastern part of the United States. So technically, it's still Cursed Tuesday here. Thank you very much. Cannot get the chicken sushi and tall glass of ender milk. I'm actually going to die. Help. Um, I would like to file a complaint with whatever department handles this level of cursed content. It's Wednesday here, Black Cat Day. Love it. What is Black... Is Wednesday just Black Cat Day always? Or is that like tomorrow is a specific holiday called Black Cat Day? I have questions. Pug, hello, welcome in. Thank you for hugs. Hugs to you. How you doing today, Pug? I just like, I'm so confused. You dip the sushi. S S Sally. Oh, goodness gracious. That's actually the most cursed thing I've ever heard. Unbelievably cursed. Wednesday is always Black Cat Day? Oh, I didn't know there was a holiday for me on Wednesdays. I love it. Well, actually, that means it's just a holiday for our cat named Wednesday. Worms, stop! Ah! <laughs> this is so cursed. Just ate dinner here and sort? Nice. Nine days left, bug. That's so exciting. What were we talking about? I was trying to talk about the biome, and instead we're talking about weird sushi. Um. Oh, 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 oh. I remember. So we're gonna cover all this water up because it's supposed to be a desert oasis biome. And it doesn't really make sense for there to be all this water by a desert oasis. The idea should be that like there's no water nearby, right? So we're getting rid of all the water in the rivers, which feels a little bad. Feels bad, man, because like obviously the new Minecraft rivers are beautiful, but it needs to go. Um, so we're covering it all up and we removed all the trees in the savanna biome. And then we're gonna start building the dunes out of sand and sandstone and then we will build the oasis and 
uh, do some extra detailing, get some llamas, put some palm trees in. I want to design some custom cacti if I can to go with the oasis. Just gonna make it really pretty. Stop. Oh my gosh, a little potato. Actually too far. <laughs> I hate the eyeballs. I hate discussion about anything related to eyeballs. <laughs> um, BCG grips their foot and swings, hitting their foe. I'm imagining BCG whipping their entire body around by their own foot. Is that what just happened? Small. Pug. The curse content today is actually so much. Actually, no, pug, be good. Pug, no. Has too much homework and must go lurk responsibly. Have fun with all of the cursedness. All right. See you, Silverfish. Enjoy your homework. Thank you for being responsible, even when the rest of us are not being responsible. <laughs> You're spilling tea, but I'm going to slap you. I'm scared. Like, I'm scared. Sorry, I had to cough. I whip my tail around. I whip my tail back and forth. I whip my tail back and forth. I whip my tail back and forth. Like that? Hey, you're just trying to build a Minecraft church. Cough or hack up a hairball? Normal cough. Normal cough. No hairballs here. Thank you. Cat butts? Listen, we love a cat butt. We need so much grass. This is nuts. Oh, that's so gross, Puck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's actually so gross. There was always a kid who would do stuff like that in school. DM small. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not look at it right now, Black Lab, because if I look at it right now, I like the notification will go away and then I won't remember. It's, it is cursed content. That's, that's, yeah, that's pretty cursed, actually. But there was, like, always a kid who would do stuff like that in school. I, I was always really confused as to why, because I was like, I don't think you're getting good attention. Like, I don't think this is the attention that you want as a person. Like, is this what you want to be known for? <laughs> Useless Rogue charges their remaining magical energy to cast a very powerful magic missile at werewolves. The poor foe is annihilated. Congrats, everyone. GG's chat. This is our second uh, killed monster of chat, of stream. Doing great. Very proud, very proud. Sally. Goodness gracious. Unbelievably cursed commentary. Is this playing music or... What is happening? Let's just... Can I skip this song? I don't know what's going on. Uh, Little Potato, apparently there's like, um... There's ducks. Okay, if anyone doesn't want to talk about eyeballs, run away right now. Um, but apparently there are like ducts, like D-U-C-T-S, in your eyes that connect to your sinus cavity and you can get liquid in there and like if you like snort really hard with your nostrils closed it like will literally pressurize your face it's very disgusting um but it is cursed tuesday so that's that's how it's done it's not good for you please don't do that like actually though it's very bad for you hey urban welcome in how are you doing ew yeah scrum yeah very very scrum like, it's just one of those things that, like, the human body is really weird and can do some really weird stuff, um, and teenagers figure it out. I'm on my way to not follow a waffle dog. I cannot- I'm gonna quickly remind everyone- ah, Thank you for the warden roar. Um, I'm gonna quickly remind everyone, like, not- Not to do that. Don't, don't do weird things to your eyeballs, please. You, that's, that's really a bad idea. No, useless rogue. You've, you've missed the mark completely. The opposite of both of those things. <laughs> a sinus milk to the loot. I'm dying. I'm actually dead. I have perished. 
If anyone needs me, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm also scared. <laughs> like, what's happening right now? <laughs> this is one of those times where like, I'm do not do what Shameless Rogue says. Yeah, do not do that, please. Um, you will absolutely definitely hurt yourself. Um, this is one of those times where I'm like, man, if only for like five minutes to be a family friendly streamer and to not have any of this, but at the same time, it's very funny. And like, I don't know. Little potato dies. <laughs> That's how I feel. What about those people who- No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Actually, crime. Don't do that. It's bad for your eyeballs. I'm not a doctor, but don't do that. Hello. As not a doctor, I really have to recommend not doing that. Um, but yeah, actually though, because eyeballs genuinely gross me out, let's move past the eyeball talk. <laughs> Just because it actually grosses me out. Get out of here, squid. No, Sally, no. There's also a very thin membrane between your eyes and your, your ears and your sinuses. Sometimes if it's broken, weird things can happen. Like when my dad could literally blow smoke out of one ear. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> You're a medical professional. Seriously, do not do what I am suggesting. Yes, thank you. Thank you for providing the opinion of a medical professional. Don't do those things. I am not liable for any weird things that uh, chat says. Uh, and if you do them, that's on you. How about ear balls? Those are different. Those are a tadpole specific item. Let's talk about chicken. No, that's worse, Fulmers. No chickens. No, no, no. Listen, chickens are the enemy. Chickens are the enemy. Okay, so, uh, crunchy chickens? Like, as in a fried chicken that I can eat? Or a live crunchy chicken? Cheese balls. Small is licking elbow bad. Can you lick your elbow? I don't think people- I don't think you can lick your elbow. I can't lick my elbow. Way too far away. I have long arms. I definitely can't lick my elbow. I'll- I'll throw that out there just as anyone who ever needs that part of trivia about me. Like, if there's ever a small cat space trivia, I cannot lick my elbow. Um, in case you ever need to know that. Chicken feet are bomb. Uh, I wouldn't just eat them, but my partner will use them to make chicken stock sometimes. That same friend could lick her elbow. She sounds interesting, Sally. <laughs> As a non-medical professional, I suggest no one ever do anything chat suggests. Right, Winterstart? Right? Literally just don't listen to chat. Who just tried? I did. I checked really quick before I said that. I was like, I'm 99.999% sure I can't lick my elbow, but I'm just gonna double check. Because like, you know, does she know her ass from her elbow? I hope. <laughs> like Gene Simmons, that's scary. But impressive. Scourge? Scourge? Her my partner like get up really fast and like go thundering down the stairs and I don't know what that's about but I'm like hello are you okay as a curse content professional try it maybe we don't validate safety but like you'll be fine probably no it's it's so amazing how so many terrible suggestions come out of this chat like so many really bad suggestions probs uber eats <laughs> Yeah. Small cats trivia question one. How long is small's arms? A short. Aver B average. C long. D super long. Yeah, chat. Who knows? E T Rex. Lol. <laughs> Cassie Knight, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? I'll be dead asleep and then said selling noon down the stairs for my Uber Eats. Honestly, who wouldn't? Love love when the food gets delivered to the house. Just read chat and do the opposite and should be fine. Exactly, exactly. Okay, chat, 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 chat. Um, I wanna get everyone's opinion. Raises the paw. <laughs> show your pride. Everybody show your pride beans. Thank you. You just wanna run past someone and say Neom. There's nothing stopping you, Black Cloud, from doing that right now in real life. FYI. I can't help but imagine small as a cat being one of those super short arm cats that always looks sad. Oh, a munchkin cat? No, I have very long arms. And I'm quite tall. Um, I think. 
Small can tie her shoes without bending over. That's how long her arms are. Um, no, not quite. But I do have long arms. I also, like, if you guys have seen pictures of my hands uh, in the Discord, I do have very long, like, fingers, too. I got, what was it? BCG said I have them pan piano hands. Whatever that means. Uh, but yeah. Only hands? That's the only part of my body that anyone has seen is my hands. Props like 4'8". I'm quite tall, thank you. I'm 5'8". Which is tall for a woman, thank you very much. Cannot lick my elbows. Sag? Ginger's handsy little secret. That's cool, Waffle Dog. Why is the music keep stopping? What? Actually, though, Pretzel Rocks, what are you doing? 5'8 is short to me, though. Yeah, but 5'8 is quite tall for the average American woman. And I wear heels a lot, so like, I'd be tall. I tall. It's not short, thank you. Slenderman arms. Okay, wait, I wanted to ask chat's opinion, and I, we've been absolutely so, <laughs> so distracted. Um, so guys, 1.20 is coming, right? Um, and I think I want to start a hardcore series in 120. Um, cause we have the super flat world, but it's not in hardcore. And the thing is, is that like some of the stuff in 1.20, I'm not going to be able to get in the super flat world because you can't get bamboo. And I don't think you're going to be able to get bamboo anytime soon because the wandering trader doesn't sell it, which means we can't get like one of the whole new wood types, right? Like we can't get bamboo planks. We can't get bamboo logs or whatever. Um... So I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to do a couple more things in the super flat world and then wrap things up and do a hardcore series uh, in one, when 1.20 comes. Uh, I also love how nobody's gone for the obvious with that command. Honestly, yeah, nobody has come into my chat so far in my history of streaming and asked for OnlyFans. But I'm also a faceless streamer, so that's probably why. But now that I've said that out loud, I'm sure one of you trolls is going to do it. And I promise I will time you out for at least a minute. <laughs> Only just for the funs of it. But like now that I've said that, someone's actually like next week probably gonna do that. Why is my pretzel rocks not working? Like actually though, what is happening? This is like the second time that pretzel rocks has like gotten stuck. Pretzel? Hello? scram but what if better minecraft server i don't really think i want to play better minecraft just got here but i gotta go have a great stream all right Kay, thank you so much for being here have a great rest of your evening coming i'm gonna make a small OnlyFans page and upload pictures of black cats stretching uh, you can do whatever you want with that <laughs> that is really funny though Listen, if I ever make an OnlyFans as a joke, I am just going to put pictures of the cats on there. You're, that's all it's going to be. Pretzel, pretzel rocks? You want to play worse Minecraft? I want to play hardcore, I think. Playing the cello? Only cats? Yes. Just pictures of the cats. Cats playing the cello. Honestly, Sally? Love it. I mean, small, don't make me pug brain. <laughs> I'm not making you do anything. I've got rather large hands. Like, ten inch dang, Winter Star does have big hands. Dude, there's, like, I do have very long fingers, and I can't buy gloves. Like, store gloves in stores don't fit me. Like, women's gloves. It's very frustrating. It's a very petty thing to be annoyed about, but it's true. It's very annoying. Um, You can't do hardcore worse than Tadpole. Oh, Tadpole's doing his best. To be fair. Cats playing with jello. That sounds fun. Small plays large biomes hardcore or do a half-hearted series. I think a half-hearted series, I would die pretty quickly. I think large biomes hardcore would be super cool. Um I think that would be really fun. Are any of the mods around? Can mods do a poll? <clears throat> Uh, I know Sally's on mobile, so probably it's not Sally. But Fulmers, if you're uh, doing a thing, can you do a poll? Why do you want to hardcore? I just want to. I don't know. I really, really enjoyed the hardcore aspect of the super flat world while we were still in hardcore there. I really liked the challenge. Uh, and it made me play the game very differently. It was like, 
Um, I don't know, I was just kind of like playing more carefully, more thoughtfully, I think. What's a poll? Should Small do a hardcore <coughs> series in 1.20? Well, drat. Yeah. Does the cat have cat butts or catty butts? Cat butts. I don't know. I don't know about large biomes. My only... Ah. Ah. Did they change the drowned animation? Do drowns always look like that? Wait, actually, actually, like, really quick. Have drowns always animated like that? When did their arms start doing that? Talking hardcore so close to OnlyFans is dangerous. Cool. Got a point? Yeah, they were. Since when? I don't remember them looking like that. Only hardcore. Shush. Leave me alone! I'm trying to sleep. Ugh. Spivers. Darn spiders. I just don't remember drowns looking like that. Well, drowns now have a swimming animation, which they recently- Oh, so it is new. I was like, there's no way that this is not, not new. I've never seen a drowned have that, like, kind of tilted arm animation before. Because drowned are, have always been, like, very bleh. Only eyeball milk saw. Sally has gone and found a poisonous potato. Drowns on bedrock. Been having that. Interesting. I'm actually looking forward to playing hardcore next month. Me too, Winter's Heart. Me too. I think it's gonna be so fun. Guys, I haven't announced this yet. Um, but I guess we'll there's an announcement, I guess. Yeah, actually, there is an announcement, and I just haven't announced it. Um, I'm allowed to do this, right? So next month, I'm going to be playing in the Oak Grove Collective Hardcore event for June. Uh, it's for June 1st to June 30th, and it's going to be a hardcore server made up of 30 wonderful peeps. Um, so you probably know, like, Oak Dew, Winter's Heart. Uh, Miss K, Captain Junkie, Endless Endeavor, um, and a whole bunch of other people. So it's like a collaborative event. It's not a competition. The whole idea is to keep as many of us alive as physically possible uh, for the whole month of June. So I'm really excited about it. I have some plans for things I'm going to build in Hardcore. Uh, a Hardcore server sounds fun. Yeah, there's other wonderful people who are in this chat right now who are playing. I didn't know if you'd announced it yet, Blacklad, so I didn't want to say anything. Um, thank you for thanking the mods. Guys, there is a poll! If you want me to do a hardcore series for 1.20. Um, so the hardcore series will be something we would stream and something we would do for YouTube. So it'd be for both. Um, only salami. Ginger the Lily's salami-y little secret. Sal subscribe now for 69% more salami. Um... Honestly, actually, since Black Cloud's here, Black Cloud, we should update, you should update that Grey Knight command. So instead of saying subscribe now for 69% more fun, it says subscribe now for 69% more whatever the thing is. So like salami or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, thank you for the hydrate. I have no water. I will get some. So many people, I can't keep track of all the names. There's actually a ton of people. Uh, and I'm really excited because there's a lot of players who I haven't played with before. Um... And again, I'm trying not to name drop because I don't know who's announced that they're playing. How dare you read my mind, ma'am? Blackclad, you just, you know, great minds thinking alike. You were just thinking that just now. Best part of waking up is Fulmers in your cup. Fulmers, thank you for doing the poll. Uh, I appreciate you. Yeah, so there's a poll. Vote in the poll. Do you want me to do hardcore for 1.20 or no hardcore? Decide. <laughs> Okay, I have to get water because I have been told that I must hydrate myself, which honestly, valid concern as a person who never drinks enough water. Valid concern. Um, shit. Yeah, there's there's so many wonderful people. I'm super excited to play. I have some, I have what I think are really cool plans uh, to build things. 
Um, and I'm just excited to play with new people who I haven't had an, a, a chance to play with before uh, on a server. So, always super fun. Plus, it's Pride Month! Guys, next month is Pride Month, so that's like also unbelievably exciting. The only thing is, uh, if we're playing on the Oak Grove community server, we are gonna have to be family friendly. Uh, or at least family friendly adjacent. Uh, when we are on that server. So we have to be good schnoodles, guys. We will be good schnoodles. Um, which I know is, is very hard for me, but we're gonna be good. Jason, where is he? He's lurking. He's lurking, Ginger. He's just waiting for the day that I permit him to be in my chat. We're always good. The very essence of schnoodles crap. <laughs> what? Honestly, yeah, my I am the essence of crime, but... The corporations are waiting until the first hour of Pride Month to turn everything rainbows, yeah. Has everyone seen Target's- okay, this is such a, an American question, but has everyone seen Target's new Pride collection? Because there are some things in there that like- okay, so I, I'll be the first to admit that I don't really like the like aggressive like corporate Pride marketing because they're not doing it because they actually care about LGBTQ persons, they're doing it to make money off of LGBTQ people. But at the same time, I recognize that like, it's a step. Eh. It's a complicated issue. But- uh, some of the new Pride Month items are very cute, and some of them are hideous, and it's really funny. But, like, to be fair, last year's collection was also, like, wildly hit or miss. Like, some items slapped, some were really bad. You haven't seen it yet, Small? There's, they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. <laughs> Ugly but obligated, because K. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a couple of things just for my own self. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few items that are really cute, and there are some that are really bad. Nothing against Pride merch, but for the love of Odin, please stop flooding with rainbows and for the Pride merch. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Okay, I was wondering where you were going with this, Anari, and now I, it understands. Like, you want specifically marketed to like other types of, of Pride. Yeah, exactly. So, like the the nice thing about Target's collection this year is, I, and I swear I'm like not being sponsored by Target, is that a lot of them are like trans Pride things, which has been really nice. But yeah, we definitely need more like Ace Arrow. Um, by that, you know, like pan items. Small never dies. Oh my gosh, 90% voted for 1.20 hardcore. So it sounds like what I'm gonna have to do is uh, get ready for a 1.20 hardcore series. Hmm. They also can't do it in certain countries either. Yeah, unfortunately. That's like I've been cracking up at people getting mad at beer companies. No half-hearted hardcore? Um, I am not gonna do half-hearted hardcore, I don't think. I don't- I just don't think I would like that level of stress. Like, I really liked playing on the half-hearted hardcore series, like, for a little bit with Bruno's community, but I don't think I would want to do it all the time, because it stressed me out a lot. Because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Like, all the time. I was like, if I fall off a two-block gap, I'll die. Yeah, you die if you jump off a two block tall gap. Yeah, it's it's very like, it it takes like playing carefully like you would in a hardcore world to like a whole other level, uh, which is awesome. Like, and if you can do it, props to you, but like stressful. So not, no half-hearted hardcore. I don't think half-hearted is the way. It was very stressful, says Sally, yeah. I miss the nerds blizzard. I keep hoping Dairy Queen brings it back for pride using rainbow nerds. <gasps> that sounds delicious. A lot of it is typical corporate greed. It's Pride Month, let's slap stickers and a bunch of stuff and sell it for jacked up prices. Yeah. No, I, I'm with you on that, Winter. Sorry. It, but at least they're doing it. Like, I kind of look at it as of this thing of like, you know, like, heck, 20 years ago, like, none of these companies would have ever done this level of like Pride supporting anything. So, like, progress. It's not great, but it's progress. Like, I, I kind of look at it as a glass half full. You know what I mean? It's definitely stressful. Yes. Regular hardcore is stressful enough. You know, I didn't find regular hardcore like stressful except for certain times. Like when I was doing like things that were definitely like dangerous where I knew that the risk of dying was very high, that's when I felt stressful or stressed out. But at the same time, the challenge was very satisfying. 
you won't do hardcore because you'll eventually die. I mean, no matter what, if you're playing in hardcore in Minecraft, you will die eventually. Something will happen. But, you know. <laughs> Silverfish is supposed to be doing homework, that's true. It's a step in the right direction. The glass is always half full, technically. Is it? Typo. <laughs> you need reminders? Goes back to lurk responsibly by Silverfish. Enjoy your responsible lurkage. <laughs> half full of liquid, a half full of air. But what if you fill the entirety of the glass up with liquid? Or the glass is empty and therefore full of air? Is it still half full then? Question mark. Hashtag. I am back for a bit. Welcome back, Urban. Welcome back. Sally be doing a lootin's. That's why you are reminding Silverfish to go back to his lurks. <laughs> like, darn it, Silverfish, do your homework. Behold, the Count of Chaos. Urban, they rule over the county with 150% chaotic energy. GG's Urban on the Count of Chaos. Fourteen points of damage with their screening. Is that a ball? I don't know what that is. Knocked. Yeah, it's corporate, but it's something. I mean, there are companies that do well, like Minecraft, and they actually keep their Pride stuff even while after Pride Month ended. Yeah, exactly. Or like all of the new characters that they've introduced, like the the vanilla canon characters. They did so good on all of those. Um, like as a company, I think Mojang slash Minecraft is doing really good there. I mean, there's always room for improvement, but they are doing pretty good. The glass is half full for the second power. To the second power. <laughs> it's a screwdriver. Oh. <laughs> it's a spleening screwdriver. I That looks like a ball. How is that a screwdriver? That's not what it looks like, Sally. It looks like a ball. Falling in things. Ah. Okay. I heard a weird noise. You did your homework, Pug? GG's. Always good to do your homework. Minecraft got a lot more progressive by default when not left. Yeah. That's a whole thing, but... Yeah, no. There's so many drowns down there. Man. It's not a green screwdriver? No. J Price, hello! Welcome in. How are you? You black lads like facts. You went to a butterfly house and mini zoo today. That sounds awesome. Did you see any cool cool bugs or critters? I see the screwdriver. I also see I'm not going to say it. It it's showing is this a, a BTTV emote or something, Sally? What is this? Let me one sec. I have to close like 17 tabs. Is this a, like, oh, I'm also open on my own tab. That's really funny. Okay, let's close that. Um, is this like a, oh yeah. Oh, it's a better TTV emote. I was like, why can't I see what this is? Like, <laughs> it's a PTTV emote. That explains so many things. Uh, J Price, how are you doing? It's still lurking, but Sally, your weapon's misspelled. That's funny. That's really funny. Uh, it was just a text demo. It was showing up really weird in OBS. I, was, I wasn't I was looking at my uh, like stream manager dashboard. I was looking at OBS. So it was like not showing up correctly. Cause I have BTTV, but like it was, it was just doing a weird thing. There's a tarantula I want to put in my jacket. No stealing the critters. You can't steal the zoo exhibits. That's illegal. It's a regular, it's a, it's an emo pug. Like it's not a, it's nothing weird. It's just not showing, it wasn't rendering properly in OBS because my BTTV is not like hooked up to OBS. But now that I'm uh, on my stream manager in Microsoft Edge, like I can see it. I'm well, worked, coach soccer, read to my kids and now finally relaxing for a minute. Oh, nice. I'm glad you, you uh, get to relax for a little bit and hang out. Yeah, see now I can see the screwdriver. I actually love bugs. And you've been to a butterfly show before? Ugh, bugs are so cute. I have a big collection of like pinned and mounted butterflies in my office, actually. 
There are a whole bunch of them. Yeah, Urban has a whole bunch of exotic uh, critters. Very true, very true. You have a tarantula. Yep, Sally has a tarantula. I always forget about that, Sally. I don't know why. Like, I've seen pictures of this tarantula. Ow. You have pinned ones too? Nice. I've been looking into getting... Like, I've been kind of reading up on how to do the pinning and mounting for butterflies and moths and stuff. I kind of want to try it on my own. But at the same time, I'd be, like, afraid to mess up the specimens and, like, waste them, I guess. The most exotic pet I have is two leopard geckos. But leopard geckos are so cute. They're little little guys. They're so cute. These little guys. Reptile and insect people. I love snakes personally, but my partner is unbelievably terrified of snakes. Like his his most most fear. Biggest fear is snakes. Will not even look at a picture of a snake, so I will never be able to have a pet snake. Mine are chubby. Aren't they meant to be kind of chubby? Like they have like fat little tails. You're ha also happy when the cicadas went out because they're your favorite bug. Okay, cicadas and me are not friendos. They just like fly into your head. I'm not about that. One is evil though. Why is he evil? You got it as a sling like three to four years ago? A sling? Okay. Confusion? Very confusion? Once about the time, I had a red tail boa, a little over five feet long, and totally chill. He would ride around in my hoodie. Aww. Oh my gosh. Cute. I love snacks. They're so cute. The little danger noodles. I love the... I watch Sling as Baby Spider. Oh, there's a word for a baby spider? I didn't even know that. I feel like I've learned a thing. Okay, wait. Guys, I was supposed to get water like 14 minutes ago for Waffle Dogs Redeem. So let me grab a quick cup of water. Uh, and I will return. I'm not even going to go to my break screen. It's going to be super, super speed. Zoom. Don't do crime. You love snakes? That's what they're called? Okay. Eggs with legs when really tiny? Cute. Okay, I have done the hydration. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Be proud. Am hydrated. Crime. Why are we criming? Are we criming for fun? I'm scared of spiders. I hate when I see one and then it disappears. To be fair, spiders are not really my jam. Um, like, I can see why people like them. They play an important role in the ecosystem, but they're creepy, so. They got too many legs, which is really funny, because snakes have not enough legs. Small k eight crime, small k eight crime, small k eight crime, crime? small k eight crime, crime, small k eight crime, small k eight crime. 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 <laughs> Fulmers, thank you for the biddy and the crimes. <clears throat> Feel like you're creating a really low-tech drown farm? Yes, but not on purpose. <laughs> Uh, I can go under it and light it up after this, too. It's not really meant to be a farm. I'm just simply, like, trying to, like, get rid of the water. Or at least the appearance of water. <laughs> I have to get the grass that Ulmer said he had. Nope ropes? Ugh. I love the, uh, like, Instagram reels. Instagram reels? Yeah, that's what they're called. Of, like, people with their pet snakes, where they're like, look at this aggravated string or whatever like they just buy foamers i'll miss you um where they just like make up silly names for their snakes like i i love that so much yeah venomous ones that would be a no is small an adult sus legally yes mentally i'm a disaster you're not a fan of insects you make your spouse feed the geckos yeah I, like bugs are kind of strange sus small cats i'm not sus Stardust got one of them too. I, centipedes do have a lot of legs. That's fair. They got probably too many leg. Rounded. 
Daddy Long Leg. What about Daddy Bone Legs? That would be funny. I'm waiting for Daddy Bones to show up and be like, that's not funny. I'm neither sus nor innocent. I'm somewhere in the middle then. I mean, I'm definitely a little suspicious. Daddy High Milk? Scrub? I was once going through a McDonald's drive-thru with my snake riding in my hood. Girl started to hand me the food, then pulled her hand back. His head poked out and was hovering over my shoulders, sniffing out the window. Was she like totally freaked out, Winter's Heart? Because I would have- if, if I didn't expect a hoodie snake, I probably would have been like, ah! You know, like, <laughs> did not expect the danger noodle. <laughs> Jay Prince is like, I would have cried. Yeah, if you're not expecting random random snacks, then that would be probably a little upsetting. Just like a little bit. Sus. TVS, welcome in. How are you doing? Hope you're good. Oh my gosh, have we placed enough grass today, guys? Have we placed enough grass? Oh, stream labs. Sag. Oh, guys, speaking of my- I just saw the Streamlabs message being like, Small has merch. I got my merch. I ordered some- I finally ordered some of my own merch. Uh, and it came, and it's very cute. So I've been putting little Cupcat stickers on things. Uh, and I got a scrum mug, and it's so cute. I had a cup of coffee today in the scrum mug. I love it. So that's a thing. Nope ropes. We are talking about nope ropes. Women in drive throughs are usually victims of- Ah, rogue scrum! <laughs> Scram, 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 scram. Let's not go there. Uh, we have a card game called Danger Noodle. It's super fun names for all kinds of creatures. That sounds cute. Is this like a game for kids? She wasn't expecting it, but to her credit, she didn't like squill and drop the bag or anything. She probably was just like, why do you have a snake? You know, like that very like, oh my gosh, working at a drive through kind of sucks. Like, why do you have a snake? Why? You know, like, Sea Turtle's feeling 10% chaos. I would awe there was this reptile shop that had this python which seemingly adored me. Adored me. Oh, I love py pythons. Like, when I lived in West Africa, there was this one time that I found a ball python in my house. He was just like chilling in a bucket and he was such a nice little guy. He was so cute. Godzilla Gaming, thank you for the follow. Not really, it's an exploding kittens game, so it's for any age. Oh, okay, I know about exploding kittens. You have two rope fish, kind of like aquarium snakes. They have cute little snack faces. I love rope fish. Snacks are- I love it. Snakes are so cute. Cassie Knight, right? They are. They truly are. Snacks get a bad, bad rap, but they're truly cute little guys. It's a snack. Severus snack. You have a royal python. Storm chasers also call tornadoes danger noodles. Why? Is there a reason behind that? I'm curious. I would love to have a sunbeam snake, but they are so hard to look after they stress easily. What is a sunbeam snake? That sounds cool, Blackbud. <laughs> Your royal python is too derpy to hurt anyone? Aw. It's not my bedtime yet. Yeah, Ginger will go to bed when all of us East Coasters go to bed. Ginger is actually on US time, weirdly enough. I was gardening one day and I dug up this little worm and when it rolled over and reared his head, it was the tiniest snake ever. <gasps> oh my gosh, it sounds adorable. Little baby snake. Guys, now I want this. I wish I could have the snake, but I can't. I went. I want a lavender hog nose, but I know snakes are a ton of work. Yeah, they definitely are a lot of work. And like, you have to like feed them and, I mean, you have to feed any pet, but like technically you have to feed them mice and it's just a whole bunch of things. It's still lurking responsibly, but coolie loaches are fun snacky fish. We have a few. <gasps> Someone who knows about coolie loaches. I had a bunch for the longest time, Silverfish. They are the cutest little fish noodles and I love their silly little faces. Everything about a coolie loach is just cuteness. They got little whiskies. They, they look like little soba noodles. They are truly the most adorable fish. And they're just goofy. You sent me a pic? Okay. Uh, my rabbit is an escape artist. <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> I love that. I love when people make up lore for their pets. Like, something about giving your pets lore is the funniest thing I've ever heard about. Ah. <laughs> Some, most sunbeam snakes are wild caught. Oh yeah, that's bad. Yeah, do they shoot lasers out of their eyes though? I love them. Oh my gosh, right? What's horrible is feeling surprised snake in an area with wild snakes. That would be scary. Was it gray with an orange ring around its neck? Um, coolies are like kind of brown and orange, but I don't know what the sunbeam snack looks like. I have to look at Blackclad's message. But the problem is, is if I look at your message, Blackclad, it's gonna like unnotify the other message. It's a whole thing. <gasps> oh, it's so colorful. Edit the Meow Mix clip for a sound commander alert. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's it literally is like a iridescent kind of like this snake looks like what bismuth would look like as a snake. If you know what bismuth looks like. I would not have a pet cobra. That would be danger. That would be way too danger for me. Anything that could easily kill me by just biting me like really quickly would be too danger. <laughs> Fulmers, thank you for the glass. Um, that's really funny. Spaghetti fish? Yeah. She used to be a show rabbit and hates men. Amazing. Oh, dojo loaches are cool too. You're gonna remind me afterwards? Okay. Your family doesn't like snakes? Yeah, that like I was saying earlier, my partner is genuinely terrified of snakes and I could never have a pet snake for that reason. He has literally said to me like, small, if you bring a snake in this house, I will leave. Like really has a true fear of snakes. So snakes are gonna be a no for us, but that's okay. We got kitties. We have the kitty cats. I'm just waiting for one day for the cats to like catch a snake in our basement or something and for it to be one of those like scenarios where he's going to be like, you have to deal with that. Like... <laughs> Grace Cat is my athlete scholar kid. George Cat is my musical theater kid. That's their lore and I'm sticking to it. I love that. Our, our cat lore is that Wednesday is like a goth queen and Grandma's just her her idiot little brother like <laughs> he's just a doof and we love him very much but grim is really very dumb uh he's doing his best to be fair <laughs> like we were laughing about it the other day because grim's collar is a bow tie and like he's just rocking a bow tie at all hours of the day like kind of looking like a dork and he's just a little cute guy you should look at a picture of an Arabian sand boa. They're so cute and derpy. Oh, they have the eyes on the top of their head. So they kind of, they look squashed. You purposefully ignored my pun. I don't think I purposefully ignored it, Sally. I think I just missed it. I had a show rabbit, but she was too jumpy for pictures. Sally, puns. I've seen a couple of reticulated pythons that look like that. Kind of like an oily, oil, kind of like an oil slick rainbow scales. Yeah, gotcha. Grim is Pugsley? He kind of is. My cat refuses to wear a collar. We stopped buying them because they immediately go missing. Homer, thank you for cute meow and 20 biddies. Grim, literally, we put the bow tie on him. He'd been wearing a normal collar and was fine with it. We put the bow tie on him and he was just like, this is fine. This is my life now. And has like had no concerns what whatsoever about it. Like. I expected him to be like, ugh, get it off. What's this thing under my chin? Ah, but he just, he was just like, oh yeah, bow tie. Plus like Grin's front teeth are too big for his face. So he just looks hilarious, honestly. Like such a doof. I love him for it. Eyelash Viper is a fun snake, especially, sadly it is lethal snake, but they have eyebrows. Ooh, eyelash vipers are cute. One of my personal favorites is a Gaboon Viper, Volmers. Thank you for biddies and the creepers. That scared me. His neck is too big anyway. It's little Sally. I have a tattoo of a Gaboon Viper, actually. They're good snacks. They're chonky snacks, and I love them. They're just chonky. <laughs> Gaboons are a baboon viper? Gaboon viper. With a G? Gnar that. <laughs> yeah. They have the longest fangs. Yes, they do. The, and the funniest fact about them is that, like, their venom isn't particularly potent. It's just that they have a huge venom load. So, like, if they bite you, they have a lot more venom than other snakes. So they're very likely to kill you because they just bite and then they're like, Wah, venom! And you just get too much. Like, it's really funny. 
Mm, that might be, you know what, uh, Urban? Actually, if you're gonna post pictures in the Discord of the critters, can um, whoever, oh my gosh, yeah, mix clip. If you're gonna put uh, inse insects and snakes in the Discord, like under the pets, can you just spoiler mark the images? Yeah, just add a spoiler war warning if you can do that. You can spoiler mark images now in Discord. Like you don't have to do anything fancy. You just like hold click the image uh, and you should be able to spoiler mark it. That way uh, nobody gets a, a surprise spoopy snack. Um, I'm gonna add that. Where's, I don't have my notebook. I'm gonna add that as a list to add like, please spoiler tag snacks and reptiles in pets. I think we have diff different definitions of funny when t discussing venomous snakes. Also add content warning snakes. Yeah, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna put that on my list to uh, add to the rules for pets channel is the content warning. Uh, the, the crawly guys. Thank you for bringing that up. Urban, I appreciate that. My rabbit is a heathen. She will escape and waking up at 2 a.m. for be being loud for no reason. That sounds like having a cat, Waffle Dog. I would say the only other exotic pet I have is a black squirrel. We have a black squirrel next, like right by our house and our neighbor feeds it and it's always out there terrorizing birds. You have a long hate story with them? Gotcha. How do you feel about cobras? The biggest of the danger noodles? If they do their own thing, I'm cool. But I don't like the idea that they can just bite me and it's all over. <laughs> Only snakes, Sally's sneaky little secret. It was such a cutie. Sounds cute. I love them. I love them. But how do cobras feel about me? Yeah, has anyone pulled the cobras? Have they asked? Last time I checked my uh, Twitch analytics, I don't think I was getting a lot of Cobra reviews, but you never know. That's the important, yeah, exactly. How do they feel about me? How do they feel about us in general? Like, has anyone bothered to find out? Yeah, those, they are fast. <laughs> He had a monocle. Yeah, they do be speedy boys. Largest cobra following on Twitch. I have the highest snake viewership on Twitch. Is that like the blue eyes white dragon? Urban? Anyone who gets that reference is a, is it a real G? Uh... I love it. Okay. Falcor. Not the swamp. IRL, nice. One sec. We gotta we gotta do a hack and sleep. Gotta do a hack and sleep. Oh, why am I way over here? Fastest land snake, speedy little guys. Yeah, they do be speedy guys. I think we have actually managed to cover the entirety of the snake universe today. What kind of animal was Falcor a dragon? Yeah, right? Falcor was the dragon. You just fell out of bed. Kind of, yeah. Just slowly sliding out of bed. A dragon. Yeah. And then what was the horse's name? The horse that got... He, he died in the Swamp of Sadness or whatever. We had a green dragon lizard for a while when I was a kid. Huh? Called him William. <laughs> William the lizard. Was he very posh? Sorry, Ginger. I just imagined like a really posh lizard. Um, I don't know why. Artax. There you go. That was the horse. How cruel this my parents said. Oh, you can go to the show, but you can't buy anything. Aw, oh, oof. Our attack. Certain tribes in South America will have fertilances at will fire fertilances as in the snake. 
Wait, you're telling me that there's a possibility of having someone yeet snakes at you and work? That's terrifying. I, you know, that's that's too that's too far. The never-ending story. I haven't watched that in a long while. Same. I don't. I think I only watched that movie once, and the horse scene was like traumatizing. And I was like, okay, nope, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Which is also how I feel about watching that. Uh, Dave, the movie that David Bowie was in, the one about the Goblin King, whatever that was. That was terrifying too. Snake churches? What do you, what? Rogue, what? You remember something that happened with your hoodie snake? I was in the army at the time. One of the girls in my unit was terrified of snakes. And another guy came downstairs with his eight foot albino python. She ran and hid behind me. Her guys got as big as dinner plates. <laughs> yeah, when you told me you had a snake in your hoodie. That's why did you all have so many snakes? That's what I want to know. It's like, was this like a, a squad bonding activity? Everybody go out on a Tuesday and get a snake? <laughs> the Labyrinth featuring David Bowie's crotch bulge. TM. <laughs> Right? That movie was so bizarre. Why was that ever a child, a movie for children? The 80s were a wild time. Like, what was happening? <laughs> oh, that bowl. <laughs> Scram. Interesting, Eustace Rogue. Interesting. I never heard of that. <laughs> you call them package bands? I mean, they were Goblin King, David Bowie, Labyrinth, right? Yes. Yes. J. Price, it's an interesting movie, but it's very 1980. It's, it's very David Bowie. It's very too tight pants. Uh, it's very, why was this shown to children? It's an, it's a movie. We should watch that. Black Cloud, we should watch that at the next movie night. Can we watch The Labyrinth? Juggling Balls too? Yeah, but not, it is very, very, it's, it's giving a lot. All about the babe, the babe with the power. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't watched that in a long time. That should be the next movie night. If, if we do a movie night again, um, it's not a movie in my experience. It's it's an event. <laughs> okay, Urban, that sounds good. Yeah, just don't forget the spoilers or the uh, the tags. I'll I'll put a uh, blah, blah, blah. I will put a update in the pets channel in the Discord about posting the creepy crawlies and the sneaky boys, just so that uh, hopefully we don't scare anybody. <laughs> It's not a movie, it's an experience. It was just one of those things. The rules changed, so we were allowed to have some pets. It was basically scales and skins were okay, but fur and feathers were not. So you could have snakes, fish, and scorpions. I don't know where, how scorpions, how? Wait, small, small, small. It is on Netflix Kids. No, it's not. Blackcloud, you are not telling me that terrifying movie is on Netflix Kids right now. Are you serious though? I love the kids' movies back then. They're not as watered down as they are now. Like, Secret of Nim was actually traumatizing, though. Can we talk about how that movie was like, hello, do you want emotional damage? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Labyrinth is on Netflix, kids, CTMs? No, Black Lad, no. It's not. Oh, it is. Why, though? It's so weird. That's so hilarious. Secret of Nim is so sad. It's so sad. That movie went too hard in the paint for no reason. And it was 80s kids were tougher. 80s kids were afraid of nothing, apparently. But to be fair, one of my favorite movies growing up was uh, Jurassic Park. So like, to be fair, you know, to be fair, people got eaten by dinosaurs in that, but that's not the point. Uh, I watched Labyrinth a ton as a little kid and you turned out fine. Sally, I've met you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But <laughs> it was funny to say. Um, I don't know. Labyrinth is just like so strange. It was so surreal. And The Secret of Nim is aggressively too sad. Like, and also very dark for no reason. Um, Watership Down traumatized me. I've actually never watched Watership Down and I'm afraid to for fear of just what that movie is. The Dark Crystal is a very different kids movie. I saw that, yeah. 80s kids were latchkey children who fended for themselves. It's the Gen Xers. Yeah, exactly. 80s was like, yeah, just go hang out, you're fine. Like, 
They were unconcerned about where their children were at. Um, you were an 80s kid. The Dark Crystal is dark too. Millennials actually. Yeah, I mean, Millennials also got some of those. Like, The Secret of Nim, I watched growing up. That was still, like, a very kind of sad, like, very sad movie. Very kind of dark. Was, like, what in the world was this movie? Warrior Catsified? Yo. Guys, put some beans in the chat if you're a Warrior Cats kid. I read every one of those books. I still own some of those books. And if I see them in a thrift store, I buy them. <laughs> the Labyrinth should have had a morning. Black clad. <laughs> Gen Xers are built different. Too <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm millennial born in the 80s. Lol. It's good, very deep. The book is a good read. I might have to watch it then. Joke. I love the Dark Crystal. Was it good? You read the books, Ginger? Anyone born in the 80s is a millennial, I think. Warrior cats? Black clad, do you not know about warrior cats? Magic Treehouse Kid or Animorph Kid? Oh, Animorph Kid. I read so many of those. They were also so weirdly dark for a kid series. Like casually committing war crimes and being like very traumatized by the battle against the aliens. Like, like way more. The Animorphs were a dark, violent book. Like, yes. And I'm not saying we should get rid of them or anything. It was just that like, I don't think my parents realized how dark that book series actually was. Because I was just like, oh, it's about fighting bad aliens. Like, it, and at no point did I clarify past that. You know what I mean? Like, and it got very dark, very fast. Uh, Firestar? <gasps> Firestar? Absolutely read all of the Warrior Kratz books. Like, with a level that was unhealthy. Um, red Animorphs. Pretty much read anything I could physically get my hands on growing up. Um, which was not necessarily for my betterment, but it's fine. It's fine. Millennials are 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious papaya. Thank you for the 10 biddies. It's your first time chat. That is very nice of you. I thought it was 80s, early 90s when it was Gen Y. Okay, so 94 is like the last millennials. If you're if you were born in 94, that's like the very end of millennials and then back into the 80s. So yeah, like Rogue says 80 to 93. I I'm 94 and I consider myself a millennial. Don't put your age in chat, don't make me ban you. Um but like I consider myself a millennial. Now it says 81 to 96. Yeah, I consider myself a millennial. You still have your copies small? Ugh, Black Cloud, I love you every, more every day. Like, so true. Well, I love getting exposed to political assassination, other bad things at the ripe young age. Yeah, you loved it as a kid? <laughs> right? Animorphs was wild. And also to be fair, Warrior Cats was wild in. Um, like, years old? Uh, yeah, I am 94 years old. Um, you're... <laughs> I don't look a day over 40. I'm very young for a cat. <laughs> You're Gen X. Okay. Being an elder millennial sucks. Rogue. Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. Sucks to suck. <laughs> the skill issue. I'm kidding. No, but like Warrior Cats was also like weirdly adult for being a kid's book. Like the, the cats just like straight up murdered each other. There were very graphic like cat murder scenes. Like not just like casually graphic, but like very graphic. We're about the same age, small. Yeah, I think we are. I feel like that's why we have so many weird things, but cut that we're like, oh yeah, I did that too. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I did that too. Um, okay, we're out of dirt again. Um, you're older millennial. We as old peoples. I'm not that old, but. What was the book we had to read with kids on the island? Are you talking about, um, I know exactly. Um, Wait, which is the way home? Is it this? Hey! Um, Lord of the Flies. Also, wild book. Wild in book. Um, I'm 95 and I consider it a millennial. Yeah. Millennials. Lord of the Flies. Hey, Elric, welcome in. Yeah, Lord of the Flies was crazy, but a good book. Like, to be fair, a really good book. Um... <laughs> 
You left your bedroom and shut my kitty in so he'd not get into things he shouldn't while I'm prepping the late dinner. And he voices objections loudly. He still is, e is even though I'm back with him. He's like, screm, how dare you? How dare, how dare, how dare. Very wild. Yeah, Laura the Flies. I haven't read that in a long time. I, I'm kind of tempted to reread it. You've been here a while. Oh, sorry, Elric. I might, I might not have seen you, but I hope you're doing really well. He's got separation anxiety. That's fair. I thought it was made to make fun of British kids. I mean, it's... There's a lot of things going on with that book. Scrum, scrum. Yeah, we do be scrumming. <laughs> Delicious Bavaya, thank you so much for that follow. And for the 10 biddies earlier. Okay, we have to get the dirt that uh, Fulmer's left for me. You are all super young. I don't feel young. I feel ancient as time itself. To, to be fair, when I ran out of school books as a kid, I read a lot of grocery store murder mysteries. Same, Sally? I stole all of my mom's romance books when I was, I would say a kid, but I was like 12 to like 14. And well, I would just like read them when she wasn't home after school. And eventually she was like, you read those when I was like 18? I was like, yeah, I read all those years ago. And she was like, oh my God, you should never have read those. I was like, I don't know, you left them out. Like, I don't know what you want from me. There was nothing else to read. You wouldn't take me to the library again. Because she had this very strict, like, you get one library trip a week rule. And I would run out of books and be bored in, like, two days. I was like, well, you won't let me read the adult books. So I'm bored of these kid books. Old Disney was more dark, especially with villains die, like, in Tarzan. Yeah, so true. I remember a team night Rider, Mash, Walton's Little House on the Prairie. I remember actually playing outside, having only three channels, and recording music off the radio with a cassette reporter. <laughs> okay, yeah, some of that I cannot relate to. <laughs> Here's where Fulmer's left my shulker boxes of grass <laughs> on top of my base. Fulmer's was like, no, I can't put these in, in Small's uh, mailbox or anything like reasonable. I gotta put it on top of her house. He's still doing the scrum. I love it. Gaston dies in the original Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. There's actually like, I still read like two to three Goosebumps books in the night. Oh, I loved Goosebumps books. Those are so good. Goosebumps still slaps today. Like, Goosebumps does... So, okay, so, like, the Goosebumps TV episodes are, like, on Netflix, right? You can just watch them. Uh, and I watched a couple of them, and they're not very scary, like, in TV form. Because, like, ne Goosebumps to me is, like, kind of like what Eldritch Horror is, but for kids. Like, Goosebumps is Eldritch Horror for kids, right? It's, like, very much, like, in-your-brain scary. Because, like, it's scarier when it's in the written form and you can't see what's happening. Because, like, a lot of, like, the Goosebumps TV show is, like, very kind of cheesy, right? Um, and a lot of the makeup was really cheesy. <laughs> um, but, like, when it was in the written form, so much scarier. They were so good. Again, wild books that we read. You would rate for your friend to read his Goosebumps and then <laughs> when they'd come in the mail and then he'd let me read them. The little the mermaid does die in the original Little Mermaid. That's true. So many memories, like when satellite dishes came out and they were twelve feet in diameter. <laughs> Wilden. Okay, so P so the the chat members who have lived through the wild and rapid change of technology, how are you feeling about that? Like, is it as insane as I feel like it is to have gone from like three stations on the TV to? thousands of TV channels and also thousands of things or millions of things at any given time that you could watch on YouTube or Twitch or like any other website. Like, is that, how you doing? How are you feeling? Um, you love the Goosebumps theme song? Your brother was scared of the intro. To be fair, it was scary. Oh, we don't have any uh, rockets. Monster Blood? You'd have a ton of R.L. Stein books now, an adult horror book too, love it. I was a book child, never really been a fan of any kind of movie. I was also a book child, Silverfish. Very much a book child. This is crazy town with technology. I'm okay with it because I have adapted to it. Fair. The advancement of technology is so crazy. Like mostly all of it, except for some things. <laughs> it's totally insane going from cassettes now streaming music and basically everything, it's wild. Also, a floppy disk storing a few megabytes of data to a smaller chip holding terabytes is insane, right? 
I have some customers I have to work with who still have like their email data transfer, like capped at like 10 megabytes. And I'm like, listen, that is nothing. That is absolutely nothing now. You have to change this. When I ran out of children's books, I just started on classics and old detective novels. You love it. I've been in tech since fifth grade when I was introduced to Apple. <laughs> My father got me a Kamino. Nice. It's, it's interesting to hear because there's a lot of people who have like very conflicting, or not conflicting, but like there's a lot of people who are like, no, I hate it. It's wild, I hate it. And people who are like, yeah, it's fine. Like, I think it's just interesting to see like the, the change. Like there's just been so much progression and all of that stuff. There we go, a second mimic gone. And Nari ch charges their magical energy to cast a very powerful magic missile at a mimic. Well done. Congrats, the foe is annihilated. All right, that's the third foe uh, for this chat, guys. Good, good work. Or sorry, for this stream. Listen, Mimic's got nothing on us, okay? He's still doing a scrum, BRB. <laughs> if they hate tech so much, they should ride horses. Nah. The oldest is in seventh grade and just had to play the Oregon Trail in class and it was hilarious. As in like, they they made them play the Oregon Trail, the video game, as in dying of dysentery Oregon, Oregon Trail. I just want to clarify that we're talking about the Oregon Trail that I'm thinking of. <laughs> Original Oregon Trail was awesome. Wasn't that just like a, a video game that you were just constantly dying in? Like, it was like the Elden Ring of old timey video games. Cause you were just dying always. Like. Yeah, like terrible graphics and drowning in the river. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Imagine being kill killed by dissing Terry. Hey, Terry is very sensitive. Leave him alone. Never got to play Oregon Trail in school. It seems fun. I think it probably is fun, but it was just like one of those games that you died a lot. That's my understanding. Your oxen got washed away. You got to play that game for history and it was an awesome game. Huh. Oregon Trail was my first experience with speedrunning, trying to finish it during computer lab. Just desperately trying to finish Oregon Trail in the 30 minute class. <laughs> I mean, kids nowadays have Minecraft Education Edition in some schools, which is really cool. Yeah, Education Edition is actually really awesome. They There's some really cool things on there. You didn't see your first PC until you were a senior in high school. Wild. We had them in what I would describe as like middle school. Like, I mean, the school had computers, but we just like didn't really use them until probably like fifth grade. We had to do the, we had to, we had to practice our typing. They were so obsessed with us typing. To be fair, I do type really fast now, but like, it's just like, the teacher was like, you have to learn to type. I kind of want to learn to type. I want to play game, but no, we had to type. They had those cardboard covers for the keyboards that you had to stick your hands under. It depends on how lazily you pronounce Oregon. Oregon Trail doesn't sound as fun. Actually, that sounds like a blast. To be fair. That's why I started playing Minecraft again. My kids asked a trillion questions about Minecraft education. Oh, that's really, that's like an interesting way to get back into the game. Is like not necessarily through the kids playing Minecraft, but playing it, the education edition. You remember having to learn to touch type? Yeah, that was fun. It was not fun, but to be fair, I type really well now. But yeah, they like school is so obsessed with us learning to type without looking at the keyboard. One of my favorite early computer games was where the in the world is Carmen San Diego and almost entirely text, but a lot of fun. So was this like a Carmen San Diego game if Dwarf Fortress was a Carmen San Diego game? Because like Dwarf Fortress is is all text and genuinely hilarious for it. Uh, and I mean the old version of Dwarf Fortress, not the new version that's on Steam that has graphics. Uh, the old version of Dwarf Fortress was literally just a text based game. My kids got issued, issued Chromebooks in elementary school and they've been using them for class since. I'm not sure if they'll ever own a pencil. I'm sure they'll have to use a pencil eventually. 
they don't teach penmanship anymore. To be fair, I can't read anyone's handwriting and I don't want to try to understand cursive. Back at the catching cuddle the gremlin. Welcome back, Inari. Carmen San Diego was okay. Very slow typer, not on a phone, but on a computer. Hmm. Did you have typing class at all, Stardust? Or did you ever like spend time learning to type or just it was a skill that isn't kind of your jam? Mavis type- Mavis Beacon typing? Yes, I do. <laughs> I know exactly, exactly what I'm doing. She's still doing the scrub. <laughs> Mavis Beacon typing. Oh yeah, I know all about that. You can still get that on Steam, I want to say. I'm pretty sure you can still have that on Steam. My kids have Chromebooks, but most of their homework is on paper. Oh, okay. What did they do with the Chromebooks, then? I feel like it's always Chromebooks. Every single school is like, we got the kids Chromebooks. Like, it's it's only Chromebooks. I think I did typing class in school, but that was a really long time ago. Okay. That's fair. I haven't had to, like, actually practice my typing in a long time. I have Typer Shark on Steam. That was a fun game. I love Typer Shark. Oh, crow's on. Chromebooks are despicable. Though so can I see why they're used for school? Okay, silverfish, why are Chrome Chromebooks despicable? Do they have minions? Is that what you mean by despicable? We found a way to cheat at typing class. Space and backspace counted towards your speed, so we could spam those really fast and then type at whatever speed we wanted. That's not how you learn to type, though. Chromebooks are cheap and work easily with all Google products. All their textbooks and learning apps are on the computer. Gotcha. I was, uh, I've always been curious, like, why it's always Chromebooks. Are they banana flavored? I wish. I'm playing Minecraft on a Chromebook. I don't know. Does it run okay on a Chromebook? Question? Hey Crow, welcome in. How are you doing? Sorry, I wasn't like trying to force you to come into chat. I just wanted to let you know that I was live and chat would see any messages you sent me. I was like trying to do the politeness. Also for cursive writing, I haven't done that since third grade. I can still write in cursive. I don't use it though. That's like a huge point of contention with my mother. She's so upset that I can't write like or that I don't use cursive at all. I'm like, but I can't really like I can do it, but I can't really read it and there's no point to it. Anyone younger than me can't read it. Like, what's the point? Like, there's there's no need. Just write in normal letters. It's fine. We don't have to be fancy. Better than on your phone. Gotcha. They're slow and take a while to turn on and load things, and they're slow. And you can't play Minecraft on a Chromebook, though I guess you can now. Well, probably the Windows edition. It's, it's probably like the Windows edition Minecraft on a Chromebook. I love the looks of cursive, but hate writing it. Yeah. It's so all the loops and the zoops and the boops and the dupes and the hoops and the boops. It's just confusing. Why are the E's- why do that- why do the E's look like that? I just don't understand. Oh, that's fine. I'm just going to do a recording at deforestation time lapse. Nice! Have fun! Yeah, I usually just like to tell people if they hop onto the server and I'm live that I'm live. Uh, just- just so that you're aware, but I mean, it's fine. Have fun deforesting. Yes. Have fun destroying the environment. I can write in cursive. I just choose not to. And for those with dyslexia, cursive is so hard. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a very unaccessible writing form. And I am more than happy to just write standard letters. I can read and write cursive, but it gets confusing with dyslexia. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I also tried to do a spell once and ended up summoning a lemon. I'm sorry? Would it be deforestating? I don't know. Sally, as the resident expert of English and verbs, I would say. Hi, Crow. I feel like I have to ask this before, but Crow as in R-W-B-Y. As a military police officer, it was always better to fill out reports in print because some of the people's cursive writing was almost illegible. Now I can print as fast as I could ever write in cursive. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, it doesn't make sense to write in cursive, write in plain print. And it's easy to read. 
And also, that's an interesting way to start. I didn't know that's what you did, but that's interesting. Writing lemon in cursive looks like demon. I'm so confused what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's where I got my username from. Okay. Mikey boy is weird as heck. Cats be weird. Jukebox turtle, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Nice to see you. That was a sad view. Oh, you, Inari, you have to pay attention to that kitty cat. You have to. It's the law. Cats, if the cats be sad, then you have to pay attention to the cats. It's the rule. Oh, I just realized I've been sitting like a shrimp for an hour. I was like, why is my back hurt? And it's because I'm sitting like a shrimp. Good, you? I'm doing great. Also, I have developed a rather unique talent during that time. I can read upside down and backwards as fast as you can write out a report. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> very useful skill. Was meant to be lurking. Silverfish, do your homework. I gave him a very long cuddle session. Shrimp. You eat shrimp, not be shrimp. I am currently uh, the posture of shrimp, unfortunately. Sitting like a shrimp. Yeah, like curled over. When you said lanky boy, my mind literally went to Enderman, which is basically a cat. You mean like the Sunderman? <laughs> oh look, hi, Mr. Donkey. I still have this Enderman head from tricking Tadpole into wearing an Enderman head. I just love that Tad's an Enderman now. And banana spine? Yeah, I was literally curled over like a shrimp. Like, I, my posture was questionable at best. I learned that if I try to write fast with my left hand, I write in mirror. That's, what? House, Helly. Attack seduce. Ginger walks up to a mind flayer and tries to seduce them, but it fails, and now it's angry. Oh god, he yowling. The cats, they do be scramming. RWBY is a Western anime. It focuses on a girl, Ruby, who wants to join the Guild of Hunters and who defends the world. Oh, okay. Never heard of this. Sh shrimp chair. Yeah, very pizza shrimp right now. It's very pizza shrimp. It's very pizza shrimp up in here. It, com it comes out backwards. How? Um, Duke of Chaos Sally looks up to the sky, performs the ritual required to call upon their patron, I, Bratwurst, the god of smoked cylindrical meats. I'm not at home right now. Please leave a prayer after the bolts of lightning and I will get back to you. Echoes throughout the battlefield. Uh, okay. I don't know what that means, but I'm scared. Help. I'm scared. Old Crow, I had a weapon in my chat bought as a sniper scythe. A great choice of weapon. Sniper scythe. Okay. We have placed so many dirts, guys. We have so many dirts left. Five tasty damage. Yeah, there is a lot of different types of damage you can do with the Grey Knight. There's like stabbing damage and tasty damage, cat damage. It's all kinds. Ooh, that reminds me. Black Clad disappears in a puff of smoke and ash. Winter's heart goes to throw their stick at their foe but misses. Oh no. Jay Price tries to slash their master sword at their foe, also missing. Duke of Chaos Sally manages to place a cone of shame upon the foe. The Mind Flayer suffers two points of shame damage. Yeah, so you can do shame damage. That's a thing. Who knew? I love the concept of shame damage because it's just really funny. J Price goes up to the Mind Flayer and takes a huge bite, dealing three points of tasty damage. I feel like my point about damage types has been made. Don't lick a nuclear power plant. Why do I have to tell chat that? Don't lick a nuclear power plant. That's bad for you. You know that's bad. It's bad for you and you know it. 
lick Vorpal Blade. <laughs> Ginger has licked the Vorpal Blade and has claimed it. Yet Rimworld has a RWBY mod. I see. Okay, I need to fix that. That's all messed up. What if somebody peed on that nuclear power plant to claim it earlier? Ew. Exactly. Ew. Gross. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Sea turtle doing a blip. What else do you do with power plants? Uh, generate electricity and or power. Hey, who's who is yeeting stuff at me? Who's doing a yeet? Did you give me your thing? No, rude. Why couldn't I get into swim mode? A little slow. Probably tadpole did. Tadpole isn't here though. That's true. But it's probably tadpole. To be fair. It's usually Tadpole. Like, usually it's Tadpole. Okay, I need to sleep. Sleep. Small, can I send an artwork in the Discord? It has a lot of eyes, should I spoil it? Yeah, uh, Waffle Dog, you can definitely send it in the Discord, just mark it spoiler eyes, or like uh, body horror, if it's body horror. Um, whatever you think is most appropriate. But yeah, definitely spoiler tag it. You're welcome. It's not just eyes, okay. But if it has a lot of eyes, that might be a little freaky for some people. So yeah, definitely spoiler tag it. If you don't mind. Blame Tadpole. We always are here to blame Tadpole. Ginger, can you imagine a day where we weren't blaming Tadpole? I'd be worried, honestly. Like, that would be a concerning day. Eyes do be a tad spoopy. Yeah, exactly. I dislike eyeballs, personally. They kind of freak me out. As a biblically accurate angel has many, many eyes. Yes, if it's a biblically accurate angel, spoiler tag it for content eyeballs. Thank you. You're not in a black cloud. <laughs> I sent it? Okay, I'll check it out in a bit. I love the things we talk about in this chat. It's always unhinged in here. In the best way. You know, like, in the best way possible. But it is absolutely in unhinged in here. Ginger, what are you doing with all those goats? Put the goats back. Eyes be spoopy. Yeah, but also kind of pretty. Yeah, they could be both. Your computer's about to die. Oh no, Waffle Dog. Let me look at your thing. Arts and crafts. Spoiler. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's actually very cool. Uh, and also very creepy in the best way. It's it's cool creepy. I like the eyeballs on the tail. That's very cool. Thank you so much for sharing. Wait to start, welcome to the Discord. Hmm. Silverfish, how's your homework going? Sus, Silverfish? Silverfish is being sus and also not doing their homework. They were in your secret secret tunnel. That's where you keep all the good loots though. I love that we think angels are these beautiful women with like their elder tour with eyeballs. Yeah. I always, uh, like when I first learned that, I was like, oh dang. That changes so many things. That like, uh, like, I don't, you know, we should probably avoid this topic just because this can be like a very sensitive topic for lots of people. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, changes perspective on some on some things. Hey, get out of here. These drowned are really grinding my gears. I just want to get rid of the stuff. When, why do you think the first thing angels say when they appear is fear not? That was actually what I was thinking about, Ginger. I was thinking about how like half the time when an angel appears in the Bible, it's like, be not afraid. 
Which, like, to be fair, fair if you have a thousand eyes or you're a giant spinning wheel made out of eyes. Valid concern. Like, just heads up. I'm not. Don't be afraid. What are you saying is the thousand eyed monster from Yu-Gi-Oh? It's probably inspired by that, to be honest. Like, actually not even a joke. Probably inspired by that. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Going well. Actually, I have found a nice way to technically be technically right with this essay. Love it. Technically correct is the best kind of correct, in case you were wondering. Back. Welcome back, Waffle Dog. The Black Cloud Wanderer has only gone and found a gentleman who is loving and vloopy whilst exploring an ocean monument. Vloop, what are you doing in there? We love a vloop here. Who let a fusion core in my banquet hall? <laughs> what? Ginger's found, gone and found a fusion core whilst exploring Ginger's Dwarven Banqueting Hall? Uh, oh, Ginger, you know what? I was doing some experiments with nuclear reactors and I left it there. I'm sorry, that was my bad. That was my bad. I'll put it back. Cat crimes. Yeah. Are we surprised? Me doing a crime. Yeah. That's accurate. Lots of, it's really difficult to say, however. <laughs> That's the best thing to put on an essay. It's very difficult to say for certain, which is like essay speak for, I don't know. Nobody knows. Like, don't make me answer this question. We are not surprised. No, we are not. And that's okay. If anyone here is surprised by the fact that I might have been doing a crimes, uh, you should not be. I'm surprised, surprised there isn't more cat crimes, right? Listen, the possibilities of crime is endless. This song feels very much like I should be listening to it in an elevator. <laughs> like, it's not bad. It's just also not good. It's bland, yeah. I'm ahead to bed now, very tired. All right, Waffle Dog, thank you so much for hanging out and sharing the art. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a great night. Uh, I'd be surprised if you weren't doing crime, yeah. Pro, idea for the next season of um, Third Life slash Last Life slash Squad Life. Um, can I just be a supervillain? Can, can you just give me permanent red powers and just let me start off my whole game on red? And I can just be literally the thorn in everyone's side for the entire season? Can I just do that? Because like, honestly, that just sounds like it would be way too much fun. Like... I promise not to murder indiscriminately, mostly to just be, like, generally irritating to everyone all the time. Like, I really feel like that would be the best use of my grinding ability. <laughs> I know it's not gonna happen, but, like, I would love that. Lol. Right? Like, I think it would be such a fun, like, thing to have, like, a permanent, almost, like, permanent boogeyman position where, like, somebody's just there to, like, be a pest the entire time. I would love that. Like, please, let me do it. Um, I'm surprised you have so much grass, Sally. I have had to get grass from so many places. Uh, Fulmers gave me two shulker boxes. I bought three Fulmers from Hobbits. I mined, like, eight shulkers of dirt from a mushroom island. I took all of the dirt and the grass out of my own storage room. I am out of grass. I'm dying. Portals has the true elevator music. Alright, see you, Waffle Dog. Thank you for thanking the mods. And hydrate, I shall! You are placing these blocks helter skelter and they look great. This would take me hours because I would way overthink it. Oh, Crow just died. Oops, big F. Um, yeah, so 
in my opinion, as a non-professional Minecrafter, hey Bryce, the more Helter Skelter you place um, terraforming blocks, the better it looks. Like, actually though, like when you try to impart randomness, it looks better. I don't know, that's just my opinion, but. Um, Small is on reverse third life. Yeah, to be fair, I actually suggested that to Mortal Wombat already. Oh my gosh, love it. Listen, well, I volunteer as tribute. I will happily do the crime in. I'll, I'll, and I'll totally sit down and do like a two hour, what, am, what is small allowed to do session uh, to determine the extent to which I may crime. I would love that, honestly. I think that would be super fun. I just wanted to do crime so badly last session or last series. And it just like didn't work out that I could really do any because I stayed alive too long which like seems kind of like a humble brag, but like it was more of a just like, I just didn't have an opportunity to die. And honestly, we all kind of stayed green for too long anyways, in my opinion, just a little bit. So I feel like it would be super fun to have like somebody basically like antagonizing, being gained antagonist to like push things along. But that's just me. I agree, nice. Guys, I'm, it's working. Ginger is ready to go on another expedition. Crow, are you good, by the way? Do you need help? I saw that you, di you did the die. If you need assistance, I think I got most of his screm out of his system. <laughs> I hope so. The scremmen has been intense over there. There's definitely needs to be a consistent death mechanic. Yeah. Okay, let me sleep. Ew. Ginger has gone and found dirty socks whilst exploring brown label with... <laughs> Exploring some guano. Scram. Yeah, enjoy those. I'm good. Shot out of a tree while typing. Oh no. That's actually what I... I figured that you were typing and died. And I was like, oh no. That's very funny though. Now for dinner. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your dinner, Hinari. Oh my goodness. So now I'm like actually really excited to do a hardcore series for 1.20. I think that'll be really fun. Hardcore is a blast, guys. BRB, gotta get foods. All right, Sally, enjoy your BRB. I'm gonna probably be raiding out in the next couple of minutes anyways. It is sort of time for them foods. Not foods. I, I said foods because I was thinking about the fact that you said foods, but it is sort of time for them go beds. You know what I mean? It's getting to be about that time. I'm a bedrock player. We don't have that option. Aww. Honestly, very not fun. Yeah. It seems like though with bedrock, like I, I think heart hardcore would be really hard because with the way that like sometimes it calculates like fall damage and stuff i i think hardcore players would lose their worlds to bugs a lot at least that's what it seems like but i don't play bedrock dream sleep equals brain foods ah brain foods that's similar that's like kind of similar Mmm, brains. Black clad, are you okay? I'm concerned. Are you eating people? I mean, mm, food. Uh huh. Hashtag suspicious. Hashtag black clad is a zombie. Hashtag eating people. I took damage walking over a lantern earlier today. Yeah, that's my point. <laughs> Bedrock is weird. Brains. <laughs> that emote honestly is terrifying. I'm sorry, that emote is disturbing. Like, it's not that it's bad, it's that it freaks me out. It freaks me out. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Um, uh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Alien. The alien's not as bad, it's the hype brain that's scary, Black Bad. You stepped on grass, one heart of damage. Yeah, you looked at the tree, damage. Imagine trying to play half-hearted hardcore in Bedrock. You'd last like three minutes. You'd just die. 
Like, I think that would be very not fun. Like, <laughs> just imagine it, right? Like, you're just walking around death. <laughs> like, people would lose hardcore worlds to, like, Jukebox Turtle, welcome to this chord. Um, you'd lose a hardcore world to, like, just flying through the air. There are already bugs you can die from in Java. There are, but, like, I have not encountered any of them. The one that I think most people are taught, like, think of in that sense is the the one where you can, like, die from Love You Smile and Love You Too Bug. It's boats, right? Like, you can, like, go the wrong height in a boat and die. But again, like, that doesn't happen that often. I wish they would fix that bug, though. That's, like, such a strange bug. That needs to go away. I don't know why that's still in the game. Oh, that's true. Uh, I saw that happen to Imp and Skiz. Yeah, that was- that stunk. It, like- oh, I just took a lot of damage. Um, that, like, caused them to lose that, um, season of- It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's a bug. Um... It caused them to lose their, uh, season this- the other week. I'm trying to- what's it called? Naked and Scared! Naked and Scared. That was hard. I don't know why I couldn't remember what that was called. That was like really a struggle for some reason. I don't know why. Heckin' big scram. That shouldn't have been that hard, but I was struggling. Naked and afraid? I thought it was naked and scared. On Bedrock, you can take fall damage in a boat. I guess it makes sense because it'll hurt falling off a cliff on the boat. Yeah, it, technically you can in Java 2, but it's at like two really specific heights. Like, it's not like you're gonna take fall damage always if you fall in the boat. It's just like, there's two different heights that like the game is like, no, and you just die. It's kind of weird. I'm being a bad noodle for a few minutes, yeah. So it's okay. Silverfish can have a little bit of stream as a treat. There's actually quite a few, really? I thought it was like two. Are there more than two? I definitely thought it was like there's two heights. Yo, why is Automod suddenly like waking up and choosing violence? Automod, chill. Literally, I'm not sure to mark stream. Why are you yelling? More than two, I think. Really? I thought there. I really thought there were like two of them. Okay. Well, I've learned a thing today. Okay. I think we're gonna call it, guys, because I'm actually losing my voice right now. I'm a sleepy kitty. I feel like this is a for science moment. Yeah, we could do some science. We love when we do science. All right, guys, I think we are gonna call it here because I am a sleepy cat. Ooh, we are 60, let's go. Um, Let's see, guys, who's live that we can pester people. Um. Who is streaming? Um, a while ago I was starting Amplify Worlds during a small stream and I kept dying to the boat bug. Scram. Yeah. Poor Silverfish. Um... Uh, I don't know who to raid! Um, this is hard. Guys, why is it so hard to decide who to raid? Truly really so hard. Um, okay, Acrylic is asleep technically and is playing a repot. Uh, um, uh, let's see, yeah, Acrylic is asleep. Thanks for the stream. Thanks, Black Cloud. Um,. You know what, guys? Let's go over to Casual Carrot. Carrot's great. Casual is great. Um, thank you, Silverfish. Bye, Inari. Okay. Um, 
Okay, guys, we're gonna uh, raid Casual Carrot. Um, here is his Twitch link in the event that you get left behind by the raid. And there is our raid message, the hashtag small raid. Guys, you know the drill. Um, if you have a sub, go ahead and copy the entire raid message. But if you don't have a sub, go ahead and use whatever cute little emotes you got with the hashtag small raid. Uh, why are we shouting out me and my own channel? <laughs> Hi, Black Lad. Bye, Ginger. Bye, Little Potato. Bye, BCG. Boats can do damage when falling a specific distance. This is known to happen when falling at exactly 12, 13, 49, 51, 111, 114, 198, 202, 310, or 315 blocks. That's too many things. <laughs> Small raid. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you um, to Tadpole and Mr. Chase for the raids. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. You guys are wonderful. I'll be back on Thursday. We're going to be working on Daddy Bones custom biome again. So it should be super fun. I will see you then. Love you all very much. Have a great night.